Our daily lives are filled with constant hustle and bustle. We often find ourselves overworked, overwhelmed, burnt out and exhausted, and we're never always sure why. Is it work? Lack of boundaries? Anxiety? Maybe uncertainty? Much of our modern lifestyle forces us to be constantly on the move, never pausing to reflect on our feelings and mental states. As a result, all these feelings of fear, anxiousness, anger, frustration, and sadness build up until we reach a breaking point. In order to prevent this, we need to force ourselves to pause and reflect. How am I feeling right now? What are my thoughts? Why do I think or feel this way? What can I realistically do about the situation I'm in? And what is it that I really need right now? What if you had a safe space to not only express yourself, but also to pause and reflect? Writing a reflective journal helps you understand why something happened. It helps you reflect on why events unfolded the way it did. This way, you can align your future actions with the value and lessons you have learned from your past experiences. Contrary to popular belief, reflection isn't done only after an event has occurred. Reflection can be done before, during, and after an event or experience. Before the experience, think about what could happen. What are some things that might be a challenge for you? And what can you decide to do to prepare for this experience? During the experience, make sure you're present. Observe everything that is happening as you make a decision. How are you dealing with the challenges? Is everything working out the way you expect? After the experience and having some emotional distance, describe your thoughts. What are your takeaways from this? And what would you have done differently? There are two types of reflections. Inaction reflection and on action reflection. Reflection in action is when you are reflecting while doing a certain activity. This type of reflection reaps you immediate results by aiding you in thinking on your feet and taking immediate action. Reflection in action helps you think about exactly what to do next. In contrast, on action reflection is the type of reflection we typically do. Reflection on action is done after an event or experience. This type of experience requires you to take your time to look back and think through what happened and what would you have done differently. Here is a three-step guide for how you can reflect about a particular experience or event in your reflective journal. Step 1. Recall. What? What happened? Who was involved? Write about this experience descriptively. Step 2. So what? Give your interpretation of what happened. What is the most significant part of this event? And how was this experience similar to or different from others? Step 3. What do you learn from this? How can you apply what you have learned to yourself and future experiences? When doing reflective journaling, it is important to keep track of your emotional states. Reflective journaling allows you to be aware of certain patterns you may fall into and help you determine its causes. More importantly, it allows you to keep track of your progress, from the past to the present, so that you can be proud of how far you've come.